Guest self-registration with sponsor approval can be enabled allowing an employee or sponsor to validate the guest account creation. To enable sponsor approval, create or edit the guest SSID. Then, in the Customize page of the Guest Access Strategy, set the approval parameter to Approve by Employee Sponsor. Specify the mail domain of the employee who will validate the guest account creation. It is at company.com in this example. Next, apply the changes and save the configuration. Now, the email server where the notification will be pushed must be configured in OmniVista. Go to UPAM, Settings, and Email Server. Specify the SMTP server name used by the company. When OmniVista sends a mail to the sponsor asking for approval of the guest account creation, the sender of the mail will be the user defined in the Send From field. Set the security type used to communicate with the mail server and apply the changes. Go to the guest device and connect to the guest SSID. Once redirected to the captive portal, click the link sign up to create an account. Fill in the username and password. Enter the mail address of the sponsor and click on register. Review the parameters and notice that the back to logon button is disabled as the sponsor has not approved the registration yet. The sponsor can now go to the mail server and look for the self-registration notification. Open the email, review the user details, and approve the creation of the guest. OmniVista will then return the successful registration web page. Go back to the guest device and notice that the Back to Logon button is now activated. Click the Back to Logon button and log in with the newly created guest user. Once logged in, go back to the OmniVista server in order to review the logs. In the self-registration page, check the status of the guest account creation request. Go back to authentication record page on OmniVista. The self-registered guest is visible in the authentication record tab and the authentication result is pass. Select the entry in the Captive Portal Access Record and check that the authentication result is Access Accept.